So greetings News Plus Nose readers. We're here with Kevin Messick from Northwest Coasters. And you've been, you're kind of a newcomer in this business, assembling roller coasters. How long have you been doing that? About two years we've been in the business. So you shared some pictures with us when we met you down at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas for the Batman. It kind of reminds me of playing with an erector set, except I didn't need a crane to move those parts. Yeah, it's a little bigger, but uh, it, it, a lot of it comes down to just iron working, and yeah, it's a big erector set. So I have a question. When I look at all these footers, and I just can't imagine how they get the concrete poured so accurately that all these parts match up. What is it, how do you make that all happen? Well, when you deal with all the parts and the X, Y, Z marks and the points that we do, it's all engineered. And these guys, they, they do their homework. Um, all the concrete that's put in, I mean, it is all engineered. It's all shot into grade. It's lasered in. Nowadays, it's easier than it used to be because now it's all electronic. So do you have to do anything different? I mean, when you set it on there, it just sets right down? It depends. Sometimes we have to move it a little bit. Most of the time, I would say most of it comes through really well. There are times that we have to adjust things, and there might be something we have to go back to the engineering if, if it doesn't set right. But 99% of the time, we double-check everything so it hits and hits right. When you're putting this together, it's got to be a lot more fun to put a roller coaster together than it is to put up a building that's filled like with accountants or something. It is. It's a lot more fun. Um, there's more to it in the aspect of the enjoyment of seeing someone else go to ride it. It's, it's not like you're just going to be in an office somewhere in this building we built. They're out there and you can come back a year later, two years later, and watch the people still enjoy the same ride. So what is the most fun part of putting one of these big projects together? That final push of the car going over and it goes the whole way. So after you see that car go the whole way, do you kind of get itchy and thinking like, well, it made it. Maybe I should try to sneak on there. <laughs> well, they normally won't allow us. They, uh, they, they keep us off there till the very end until they start putting... They'll normally want to ride it first. Sometimes we can get on there, but we have to run it quite a few times to make sure that it's safe and that all the uh, perimeters have been met. So you, you haven't crossed that line, that imaginary line, where you, you shouldn't go, but is there still hope? There always is hope. <laughs> okay, News Plus Notes readers, he's obviously somebody just like the rest of us. He loves to ride coasters, and he loves to ride, get new experiences. And, it's, and thanks a lot, Kevin, for explaining a little bit to us about Northwest Coasters. That was great.